Hey Dilo, hey Ross, uh, hey Tommy, hope everyone is doing well. Yes, it is correct. Uh, we cannot turn on our cameras here, but thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I have a question for each one of you. Uh, the first one is for Tommy Dreamer. Uh, Tommy, you wrestled in Puerto Rico for IWA at one point. Uh, what does wrestling in Puerto Rico uh, help you to develop in your career? And to Dilo, uh, what's the most complicated part of doing a transition from being, you know, an active pro wrestler to being a, a commentator? Uh, for me, man, I miss Puerto Rico. And, and the biggest part of what I miss is the fans. And it, it's a different style. But, I mean, I grew up watching Carlos Colon on the Spanish channel here in New York. And for me to, to go there, I mean, the first time I went there was with IWA. And, you know, with Savio Vega and the reactions the people uh, give you and that the horn, I love that horn uh, whenever you're wrestling or when you start blowing your comeback and you're throwing the punch and the people are like, schwa, schwa, schwa. <laughs> I live for that stuff because we work for reactions, but it, it's how wrestling fans of Puerto Rico and I fit in there great with my crazy, you know, style, but, uh, It was, they're just so passionate. And I think there were, even when I went there with WWE, I think they're so passionate because they didn't receive it as much outside of, you know, Carlos's company. And when IWA was running, it was, I mean, D'Lo worked there too. It's, it's so different, but it's a great different. 